This week on The Moment with Louie, I got my brother, Drew Diddy, and it's the one year anniversary of AG2G. You feel me? So let's go through the year in chapters. So chapter one is January through July. You remain the starting period for you, right? Exactly. Um, let me elaborate. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I started in January, and um, like specifically January 4th, and today's the anniversary. And it's a really special day. Um, I've been doing clothing for three and a half years now, and just for this whole year doing AG2G specifically, I learned a lot. Just going in my faith, it's just been a big blessing. How has your 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 connection with God helped you with your business aspect? Oh yeah, when it comes to business, like Christian business specifically, if your faith isn't growing, then your business isn't growing. That's simple. Yeah. So I had to grow my faith so that I could progress in my business because my business is built on relationships. It's not built on the money. It's not built on the t-shirts. It's built, it's built on relationships and my foundation is God. And it's all about customer, you know what I mean, making sure you stay in the community. This is my third T, you feel me? I, I plan on getting more. Every That's time, right there. Give me every, every time you get love. a new colorway, I'm, I'm finna plan on getting it. Yeah. I want to have so many AG2Gs. They look like I'm a part of the ownership, you feel me? <laughs> no, but, wait. Hold on, on that part. Okay. We are part of the community, so AG2 is a community because it, it wouldn't be nothing if you wasn't a part of it, you feel me? It's, it's all about the love in the community. So I know I, I noticed that love is a is a big thing when you talk about Christianity or anything. And then specifically whenever I talk to you, you talk about love a lot of time and how love triumphs hate. You know what exactly. I mean? And I feel like in Salty D, specifically San, D, San Diego, Southeast Diego, we have a lot of people are hitting on each other that's why that's why our city can't get on but if we honestly if we show love to each other if that's through God God's the only way that we could fully accomplish that we could we could come together as a city and 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 build something so so I, I really want to know what take me through your first mindset when you thought of AG2G you know what I mean because January through July what was you know what I mean what was really building you know what I mean because you started from you know I mean, ground zero and now you worked your way up. So how did how did you incorporate or how did you move on forward? What how did you you know I mean what was the first step to you really achieving your goal of having your brand AG2G? Yeah, so I knew I wanted to do a clothing line about God. Yeah. So as soon as I thought of AG2G, I was so scared that somebody else would think of making it into a clothing line. Yeah. Literally the same week I went down to the San Diego courthouse downtown yeah. and I got my, my fictitious business name registered. That means I got the business name in the system so that no one could take it. I got the copyrights and I put my business name in the newspaper. All businesses have to do that. So I got that those legalities secure so that I could I could continue on with my, my vision. So once I did that, I didn't want to I just wanted to do strictly t-shirts with AG2G. I didn't want to do nothing extra. I didn't want to release no hoodies, yeah. no distressed stuff, stuff with zippers. Yeah. I wanted to keep it simple because I wanted people to buy the shirts for the for the message, not 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 for the um, the looks. Keep it simple. But it still look good. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice. You feel me? <laughs> so do you? I, I know before AG2G you were. Um, you had another clothing line that you were a part of. Mm -hmm. Complexity one. Exactly, yeah. So how, do you feel working with them really elevated your clothing line game and elevated you as a business entrepreneur before you even started really making your own business? Exactly, and then looking back, um, looking back, complexity, it was a blessing. God had a plan the entire time, and I didn't know it at the time. But I, I began to appreciate going through that experience and having the experience of having a previous clothing line that didn't work out for me. But it was a blessing in disguise because I gained a lot of practical experience as far as learning how to how to sell to people, learning how to build relationships, learning how to make clothes and everything. So yeah. complexity really prepared prepared me to do H two G. I appreciate it. From chapter one, we transitioned to chapter two, and that's from from. The end of June, August area to September, and I know I know that's that was a real big step for you because you're transitioning from high school to SDSU. I'm proud of you, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure make sure if y'all can make sure y'all further y'all education as much as y'all can. Nothing but love, you know what I mean, in my heart and to yours. And that, that's another big step because that's when you started the ministry um, internship, correct? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, could you talk about? 
from the off-season time that you had from school and how the ministry internship really helped you or impacted you into being a better person and the person you are today. So graduating from high school, it's like, if you're gonna chase your dreams after high school, like you gonna really, like it shows like, when you're really chasing your dreams. Because yeah. after high school, some people, we all go different directions, but I stayed steady to, um, I just kept my faith strong in God. And um, I, I was doing my clothing still right off, right off the bat of, um, after I graduated, and I was doing ministry. And it was an internship I got blessed with. It was, I was basically a student within the ministry, and then now I'm gonna step up and be a leader now. So I get to go back to my high school when school starts again after, after summer vacation. And I get to talk in front of my high school like I've been doing. It's, I'm just out of high school now. And um, just after I graduated, getting ready for school, that was, a, that was a big blessing too because I'm the first in my family to go to college. Um, and I'm the first, I'm gonna be the first in my family to graduate. Period, period, I, that's what I want. I, I'm gonna speak into existence, you feel me? And I look at school, even though I'm doing entrepreneurship as a career, School can do nothing but benefit me in the long run. So that's why I'm rocking with it. And it's been a blessing already. Just I've always been in my hood. And to get taken out of your hood, and I'm living actually live, I live on campus. Yeah. And to just experience and meet people from all different parts of the world and go to a whole nother society, it's, it's, it's a cool experience. Have you got to meet any people at State so far that helped you, um, help guide you, or help uh, redirect you into onto the right? You know what I mean, like if you ever catch a, like someone to help you catch you slipping, you know, like when your homies or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at San Diego State, what I really emphasize, because the circle, the circle gets small after high school. Yeah. That's what I need. And um, at San Diego State, when I was, when I'm going there, I realized I have to keep my circle small and surround myself with individuals that, that were believers as well. Because if I surround myself with unbelievers, I'm gonna become an unbeliever. Or, I have to surround with myself with people at the same yoke. So I found I found people that I already knew, and I met people who who, um, who had strong faith. Um, this guy from Long Beach I met, uh, real real warrior. I, I, I talk about it as warriors, people of faith that are warriors that, that are willing to to just uh, fight for what they believe in. That's, yeah. what, that's what I'm saying. Um, it's just been a blessing, and God, I, I, I believe God placed those people in my life. For a reason to strengthen me because iron sharpens iron. Yeah. Say that again? Iron sharpens iron. Oh, okay, yep, I heard that. Yeah. You feel me? He said it again so you know it's true. So so you know what I mean that we're working on to the, the third chapter into the four chapters of the year. So this chapter is from September to December. And obviously you're meeting new people, you know what I mean? You're starting to network and people with people inside universities. How or what what's another another step you have taken? You know what I mean? Being that state and being that you're still in your hometown that you've been able to incorporate. The thing is, um, being that state and which is in my home city, and I can just go drive home in 20 minutes. Yeah. I got the best of both worlds. Like, I, I'm in a whole nother society at, at San Diego State, and in a whole nother like perspective, and I can come back to my hometown and get back. So what I, what what really helped, helped me grow is like. Going to school and then right after, right after, go go do business. It's school and then business right after. School first, get your work done, and then go hustle right after. And um, <clears throat> Ryan never stop. Ryan never stop. Yeah. Only the weak sleep. You feel me? Yeah. You just gotta make sure you you got you got your crew. Like you said earlier, circle small like a period. You know what I mean? You just gotta you just period. gotta keep it moving. Period. 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 Dot the I. That's three periods. You feel me? And then we just gotta keep moving. It's everything. I feel like once you get to the point, like I said this before, but once you get to that point of complacency where you feel like you're good, that's where you start losing. Because in this life, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards, and that's a hundred. You know what I mean? There, there ain't no way to look at it. But if I don't, if I don't keep pushing, if I don't keep hustling, you know what I mean? If I don't keep going to school, make sure I'm on my, on my business tip, on my school tip. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard. You know what I mean? You, exactly. you start, you start pushing one a little further and then you lose out on one but you gotta make sure at the end of the day you ain't really losing out you got, you got, you got God in your heart it's all about the love it's, it's all about the love that God gives us at the end of the day and keep it a hundred we wouldn't be nothing or you know what I mean without him and I just you know I mean? it's hard but you gotta make sure you keep the faith in your heart and keep the keep the 
the faith in the book. Period. And then, so from December on to present day, how have or what what are some plans for 2018? So after after school ended, I'm on vacation right now, so I'm planning up on what I'm what I'm trying to do for this upcoming year, as as well as throughout the t entire 2017. I heard that. And for 2018, what I'm really planning to do is just. I'm just trying to blow up at okay. this point. I kept it real exclusive for AG2G for this year. The logo, I kept this like this, so only people who know what AG2G means know what it is. All glory to God. But for 2018, I wanted it. I want it to be spelled out beneath it. I'm just gonna say it. all glory to God spelled spelled beneath, so that I can reach the mass market. The reason why I did it this way, I don't regret it. But I just I wanted people to ask, to start conversations. What does that mean? What does it mean? And then you can start conversations about your faith and everything. That's why I wanted it to do, and it, and I wanted to let the people build it. You know what I mean? And I, I realized you you also did that with the scriptures. You know what I mean? That you put onto some of the shirts. Like yeah. uh, I know Morris had some, Lincoln had some, Lincoln. and then Helix. Helix. I'm making some. Helix right now. Yep. Helix in the process. You feel me? On yeah. rest success. And then when. Moving on to like the scriptures and stuff, it, it really got, I, I seen people really conversate about God, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I see that. Maybe just take a picture of it, you know what I mean? But it, it's cool that, you know what I mean? That you really, like like you talked about, your, your mission, throwing God into mainstream media. It's like, I mean, I mean to put God into mainstream culture. You feel me? And I feel like you're really, you're really doing that. You know what I mean? And I'm proud of you. Thank you, yeah. It's, I, I see the progression. You know what I mean? We start, you, you know what I mean? You start with with one team. This ain't, this this weren't even the start tees. You feel me? It's it's crazy. Like seeing your progression and how you grew. You know what I mean? It's really it's inspiring. To, you know what I mean? To it's like I, I see little bro doing it. I, I make sure you know what I mean. I keep him onto the right path. He makes sure I, I stand to the right path. It's like okay, I'll reach out to other bro. Make sure we all doing the same thing. We all linking up. If you you know what I mean? If you got a problem, we all gonna we gonna try doing what we can to handle it. You feel me? It's all love at the end of the day. Make exactly. sure you keep it in the east, southeast, you feel me? And it's nothing but love. Looking at 2018, we gotta make sure we got we stay strong. You know what I mean? And I, I plan, if, if you're seeing this and you in high school right now and you got a scholarship, I wanna make sure I highlight you. So at the end of the year, I want, before the year ends, I wanna make sure I have all the high school athletes from at least the southeast. If you wanna cut, if you wanna shoot me a text or something, shoot me an email. You know what I mean? Instagram, King Louis underscore two. Twitter, King Louis underscore two. Make sure you reach out to me. I would love to make sure I highlight the players in the Southeast and San Diego specifically to make sure that the the student athletes are really getting recognized as student athletes and not just another kid from the Southeast. Make sure that I highlight you and your school for 2018. And that was a moment with Louis, with my boy, Drew Diddy. Period. This week on a moment with Louis, I got my brother, Drew Diddy, and this interview finna be Liddy. You feel me? It's the one year anniversary. <laughs> okay, okay. okay yep. <laughs> I'm just being extra. Just. <laughs> you got to. You got to. Man.